question is here. How to verify the radio button is selected or not? This is one of the interview questions. How to verify radio button is selected or not? So how, how to do that? Okay, I'll take a same example. No need to worry, okay? So, uh, I do have the test step separately. I'll work on that. Mm, insurance data. So, see here, team, insurance data level itself, we are just uh, passing here agenda, right? Yes or no? So, after selection of gender, I just want to verify the checkbox that radio button is selected or not. How to verify that? Selected. So, we use one of the control property. What is the control property? Selected. Perform. Property name. The name of the control property we use selected. This control property is applicable for two type of controls. One is radio buttons. Another one is checkboxes. If you are working with the checkboxes, yes, we do. A, we always use the selected uh, control property only. Another one is a radio button. Okay. How to do that? Let me change the cardinality of this gender. Go to the module. And here, let me do a checkout of this module. I just converted into a control group, right? Select this control group. And here, change cardinality is equal to N. Once you change the cardinality here, now go back to a test case. One more gender is added. Okay. So I'm just passing here. Let me try this way. Mail is selected or not. Mail is action mode is equal to verify. <laughs> uh, basically, the control grouping point of view. This is the gender, right? The gender level here, you can see a list of items, male and female, okay? So, in the male and female level, select any one of the uh, radio button and use action mode as verify, like input. And then later verify that is selected or not uh, while selecting the same drop down and use action mode as verify. If you use action mode as verify, then default it verify the radio button selection in the system. Here, here we are not mentioning uh, specifically, but in the system point of view, it always verify that is selected or not. Here you can say I just selected value as a female. Now I, I'm asking Tosco to verify male is selected or not. Okay. Let me run this. Uh, definitely it's given error message to us. Yeah. It's giving an error message to us too. So the verification has failed. Uh, basically, expectation is true. Uh, actual value is false. Tim, clear? Yes, clear. So if it is creating any confusion for you, let me drag and drop this step again. I'll show you very clearly. So this is the gender control. We just want to uh, select one value from the down. And again, the same point of view, you want to verify this male radio button is selected for us or not. So whenever you are working with the control grouping, directly select same value, but change the action mode is equal to verify. If you change action mode is equal to verify, then what happens? Uh, the system itself, it verify this male radio button is selected or not. Okay. And uh, even you can see in this situation, the verification was success. Because I mentioned Tosca to select a male and uh, I asked Tosca to verify male function. See, male is selected and even verification also success. Verification was successful. Expected is equal to true. Actual values is also true. Again, what I'm doing here, I'm just selecting from the down as female. I'm asking Tosca to verify male is selected or not. 
we are not hard coded here the selected control team because it is a control group so here the verification failed because verification has failed you can see what is the situation you are expecting true but actually it is a false that is not selected clear the control grouping part how to do a verification for the selection of radio buttons it's very simple direct yeah it's very simple but whenever we are using a different controls uh that time you can use a control property like a selected is equal to true so how to do that let me drag and drop the module again i'll show you if if you are having a different controls like this simply go value column and select the blue color down arrow use here selected is equal to true and action mode is verify but before verification of selection must we have to perform a click operation on it right i'm just doing a click operation on this one and then i'm asking tosca to verify this radio button is selected or not so here chomper is selected enter waiting go back to here and run the script this is for individual uh, control yes. mm. individual control we use control property selected in one to yeah. but grouping is <clears throat> okay okay so what are the what type of controls we can do a grouping only radio buttons right not only only radio buttons okay so if you want to convert control group the type of the control yeah. ones we can do for the radio buttons another one we can do for the buttons and then links if you have group of links you can use control group for the links you can do for the buttons and you can do for the radio buttons this type three type of controls we can group together okay just now we implemented this grouping feature only for the radio buttons right yes. Uh, for example, if you want to group all these vehicle categories, yes, we can. Just uh, check out this module and uh, group all these hyperlinks like uh, motor, mobile, truck, motorcycle, chamber. This uh, type of control is a hyperlinks only, right? Mm -hmm. We always group a similar type of controls only. Right click on here and use convert to control group. Mm -hmm. Clear? Yes, sir. So these three type of controls will perform a conversion of the control group. These two are the two different ways of verification for the radio buttons and checkbox system. So the radio buttons, we always use a selected uh, control property if you have individual control like this. So if you are having any grouping element, simply you can go with the selection of the respective uh, grouping element from the drop down and use only action mode that's it hmm? so team clear yes clear yes i'm sure 